What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, look at that. We did a lot. We completed a lot. I'm very proud of that. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at what we accomplished. So, let's see, let's not do that. Let's go straight into our gym badge case, and look at this. We got ourselves another badge right here, and yes, we're gonna shine that some bitch up pretty good, because, well, you know... We gotta go with swag. We gotta go clean and whatever. And look at this. It's uh, now two shinies. Now we gotta get three. Don't necessarily know what this is all about. But there's a big butt right there. We like to keep them clean now because we found out about this about a few years ago. And, well, we're gonna make sure everything is clean. That way this uh, they don't lose their shine. I remember as Draven XC711, that was a, a big thing right there for me. Where they were just dirty and all that crud, and, well, I didn't really know anything about that, so... Let's see. What is there to do? Oh, yes. Time to go... Time to go south into Routes 214, the Valor Lake Front, and... Yes, Route 213, and we're gonna be making a big, uh, episode about this one right here, because, well, shoot. There's quite a few things that are gonna be doing... We're gonna be doing here, and, well, there's a Ruined Maniac around here, and, well... Let's see. So here we are in Route 214. This place is going to have a lot of trainers, a lot of great Pokemon, and a lot of experience points ready to go. And, well, what we're going to be doing is, yes, we're going to be speeding up most of these battles just to get to the next town. And, well, we're going to be going with Togepri. And off screen, I did teach it fly. And, well, here comes a Drifloon. So now, our team is... Our team's kind of doing pretty well now. Like... We got some moves. Shockwave. Look at that. Toothless grows to level 29. And uh, there are some berries right here. So let's go right ahead and grab these berries. Now, let's see. Eventually, I'm going to have to like give that experience share back to Curlia because I believe it's in this episode. Once we get to the next town, this is where we're going to be wanting to battle uh, or train or not train, but you know, evolve our Pokemon. And as you guys can see, this is the Ruin Maniac Cave. And he's like, everyone calls me the Ruin Maniac. I don't care what they call me. I'll just keep chipping away at or chipping away at the rock wall until a little bit or little by little. Do you know why? I'm the Ruin Maniac who has fascinated my unknown. I know it's a little sudden, but how about you leave how about you and me have a race? You go catch the unknown and I'll keep digging away. We'll have a race to see who can get the done faster. Now what he means is this. We're gonna grab this, and we grab ourselves the TM28 Dig, which, yes, we will be using. So what he means is this. You have to actually capture the full alphabet of, uh, of the unknown. Once that happens, this section right here will open up to the top floor of the... The top floor of the, what was it, the Salacion Cave. And you'll be able to grab that whatever item is up there. And trust me, I've never actually did that. And it looks like to me we need Rock Smash, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Grab these items right here. Here we have a Magmarizer. If you guys don't know, the Magmarizer is a held item for Magmar. That way you can trade it and then evolve it. And, well, he's like, Haha, I found myself a trainer. I challenge you to do it the battle with Pokemon I found. Okay, so let's go right ahead and pluck this way. And that is probably not going to be the move that we're going to be using. And, well, Hypnosis. We're going to go to sleep, imprison. Confuse Ray. Yeah, why not add to my misery right here? And, well, let's see. Confuse. Come on. There we go. Just like that. And here comes Cranidos. We're going to continue on right here. Cranidos, as many of you guys know, is a fossil Pokemon you can find in the Sinnoh region. And, well, yeah. It's pretty cool. Now, there is something of importance right here. So, let's go right ahead and... Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go right ahead and go with Rosemont for right now. We are still trying to evolve most of our Pokemon right here. And this place is very good to actually find some pretty good Pokemon. One of them happens to be Houndour. The only other, well, Fire-type Pokemon that is worth anything, aside from, like, you know, aside from getting... Yeah. Well, aside from... If you guys know what I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's the other Fire-type Pokemon that is worth anything, aside from, you know, Infernape. As you guys already know, this place is very, very scarce with Fire-type Pokemon. It, and knowing me, I kind of wanted to do, you know, a... What was it called? Uh, a Sinnoh-only team. And, uh, well, because of that, you know, we can't really do Houndour. 
You know, we already did in the last walkthrough. And, well, yeah, we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon. And, yes, I'm training my Pokemon up because, well, yeah, we got stuff to do. And here we're gonna be finding ourselves a Razor Fang. For those who don't know, the Razor Fang is a held item that increases, uh, what was it? It does increase critical hits, right? Yes, like, oh no, actually it increases uh, flinch, so an item that held by a Pokemon, it may cause a foe to flinch when the holder inflicts damage. Now, the other thing too, if you give this to, I believe, I believe a Gligar, and you level it up at nighttime, I could be wrong guys, you could evolve Gligar into its next form right here in the Sinnoh region, so that's a pretty good thing to know, which I'm probably going to be doing later on. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue on our battles right here. Let's see. This guy wants to battle me. And he's like, I travel all over the world in search of mysteries. So, let's go right ahead and give him some mysteries right here. Here we are taking on a shield, uh, shield on. And this Pokemon right here is, uh, yeah, it's a pretty strong Pokemon with defenses and all that crud. And, wow! Jesus criminy, okay, so yeah, right when we're about to win, it doesn't let us win, and just like that, we win. Okay, anywho, let's continue on right here, and there is an item right here, and plus a honey tree. Here we find ourselves a red shard, and that's always uh, nice to actually have, and well, let's get the heck out of here. Now, let's go ahead and revive our Pokemon. Now, some of you guys have been asking, okay, so you do realize you got three Pokemon that you have to, you have to, uh, what was it called, uh, you have to, uh, evolve through shiny, or through, you have to evolve through stone. Two of them shiny and one through dusk. I get it, guys. This is the reason why we're, we're doing all this, because, you know, I kind of wanted to use all these Pokemon in one walkthrough. I know, I knew the kind of situation I was getting, and this guy has evolution, so let's go right ahead and go with Poseidon right here. This guy knows how to Okay, so why do we do that? Okay, so yeah, I already knew what we were going into, and trust me, we know what we're gonna be going in, what we're gonna be doing. So let's see, Brian is, uh, let's see, if the foe's HP is down to about half, this attack will hit double with the power, and you know what? We're not really using Delta Water Sport just yet, so let's go ahead and take on Jolteon with Toothless right here, and let's go with a return attack, and just like that, level 30. Here comes Vaporeon. Let's go with our secret weapon, Electrostar, and let's go with this, Shockwave. Shockwave for the win again, it never misses. Yes, sir, okay. So, I already knew what we were getting into, guys. I really, really, really wanted to use, you know, a Roserade, um, Toga, what was it, Toga, whatchamacallit, uh, what's the final evolution? Jesus, I keep on forgetting these names. And there we go. Let's see, Toga Kiss, Toga. Shoot, what was his name? See, guys, I keep on forgetting this name. Hold on, I'm looking at the handbook. I think we're close. Let's see, where are you, Toga? What you call it, uh, Toga? Pri? Toga? Pri? Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. You're here somewhere. Okay, so there's Glade. There's uh, all these other Pokemon, and well, let's go. Let's go a page back. Toga, oh wow, seriously? Okay, I'm looking at the handbook right now and I'm probably skipping through, let's see. Toga Kiss, Toga Whatchamacallit. You know what, we're gonna call it Toga Whatchamacallit if we can't find it right here. Cause I know it's right here somewhere. Jeebus criminy. Are you that? Like, are, are, you can't? Okay, so we're literally trying to find this Pokemon's name right here. Oh, there it is, Toga Kiss, wow. I just said it. Anywho, let's get the heck out of here. And yes, we're going to be getting attacked by a bunch of rock type Pokemon. So let's go ahead and give Rosemont a little bit of love right there. And well, let's see. Now that Toothless has uh, got himself at level 30, let's go right ahead and get everybody at level 30. Because the next gym leader is going to be a little bit tougher than expected. And we got to get Electro Star right there. Let's give that amulet coin to Toothless. And I know this is kind of like a, a big thing. I know this is like probably not the coolest thing, but let's go ahead and teach Dig to our good old buddy Toothless. And I know that I've, I know that I've, yeah, whatever. Let's go with return. We already got one more return and we can always buy another one. So it is what it is, guys. So let's see. 
There might be a few trainers that we need to battle, so let's go right ahead and put on a repel. Right here, you gotta love the speed button, guys. You gotta love the speed button. And yes, this is a place where you can actually find Houndour, so just be aware of that, guys. And, well, let's go ahead and battle. And as you guys can see, Duskull is in the house, and bam! Here comes Kadabra, so let's go right ahead and give Electrostar a little bit of love. And use this bite attack right here. And look at that, level 29. Yes, we are succeeding. So, let's go right ahead, continue the battle, and, well, that is not going to happen right there. So, let's go right ahead and go with Togepri, and, well, let's see, there we go, fly attack for the win. And, well, as many of you guys already know, Togepri does not have the best physical attack, but its flying attack can actually work right here for stab, but that's just about it. And, well, let's see, Thank thankfully I can, you know, I can buy, what was it called, uh... Fire Blast anytime I want. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this. Well, we gotta battle this guy for the Pokeball, so... Let's go right ahead and battle. And this guy's a mystery guy, so there we go. Just like that, and we win. Let's go ahead and grab this little item right here. Here we found ourselves a Max Repel. I believe this is the first of its kind, and let's have this guy find us. And, well, he's got six Pokemon right here, so let's go with Giga Drain. Not going to be effective, so let's go right ahead and go with Toothless right here. Dig attack. And there we go. Okay, so little by little, our team is getting a little bit better. And let's go with a Fire Blast. There we go. And Electro Star grows to level 30. That's pretty awesome. So here we go, another Fire Blast. Wow, Togepri is kicking some butt, taking some names. Let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. And Confusion attack for the win. Here comes Yanma. Let's go with Poseidon right here. Poseidon is close to evolving too, so there we go. And Tangle is coming back out, so let's go back to Togepri. And it looks like to me we're actually like, you know, doing a pretty good job with our team right here. And well, after a short amount of time, yes, we finally reached level 30, and Electro Star is finally evolving into its final form. If only I can remember the name of the Pokemon. Yeah. Draven's not that smart, guys. It's not that smart. And look at this. Electrostar has finally evolved into Luxray. Is it a very powerful electric type Pokemon? I don't even know. So, there it is, Lux Luxray. Now, being a Luxray, here are some pretty cool things, guys. At level 35, it will learn Thunder Fang, and at level 42, it will learn Crunch. Now, if you didn't evolve it, by level, what, 36 or 38, uh, Luxio would have would have learned uh, what was it called? Uh, actually, at level 33, would have learned uh, Thunderfang. So yeah, we kind of just uh, <laughs> screwed ourselves just a little bit right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at our Pokemon Luxray. And this Pokemon is a pure Electric type Pokemon. Looks pretty nasty. Does have Intimidate, and as you guys can see, its physical attack is much better than its special, which um, you know we will we will be taking care of that. So what's going to happen is we're going to take this. And let's see. Let's go right ahead and give that to our good old buddy Rosemont because Rosemont also needs to evolve. Don't know why I have the Soothe Bell anymore. Probably because, well, shoot, it needs to, well, in the return or something like that. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Again, all of these episodes would have taken about a good 20 to 30 minutes in one section. But thanks to the speed button, we've, we're making this whole trip a little bit quicker, especially for episode, what, 14, I think? So here we are in the Lake Valor, or Valor uh, Lakefront, and, well, let's go ahead and let's go back up here again. Let's go with the Repel. I know that I have Super Repels, but here we are in the Valor Lakefront, and here we found ourselves an Ultra Ball. That's usually something that can help us out. And, well... The Valor Lakefront is blocked right now. They say there's a legendary Pokemon in this lake. I aim to capture it on film like I've done before. I was the one who filmed the Red Gyarados at the Lake of Rage. Oh, huh, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so here we are in... Uh, well, let's see. What, 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 what's the name of this place right here? Let's see. Let's see. The town map. Use this. And we are in the Valor Lakefront. So there is a... What was it called? Um... There is a... What was it called again? Ah, uh, damn. I can't... Play. Well, there is a... Well, none, I don't even know what to call it. Uh, let's see. It, it's basically a hotel. A... F 
It is pretty much like a what? I don't know what to call it. It's just a damn it. I can't I can't remember the name of the the place. But yeah, let's go let's go ahead and take a look at the Lavalo Lakefront. Now, if you're trying to go east of the Lake Lakefront, this guy will prevent you from doing it. He's like, "Stop, stop." Yes, you. Sunny Star City, which is down this road, had a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring the power, but the road's closed now. So, we can't do anything about that. There is a lady right here that's going to be like, "What am I to do?" I've dropped my sweet cute uh, somewhere. The hotel people won't be happy with me. I'm sure I had it. Uh, I had it when I left the reception counter earlier. If only I had the Poketech app, the dowsing machine, it would be easy to find. So we need to find that app, or we need to find that. Uh, we need to find that sweet key. And well, let's see. As you guys can see, I don't think any of these guys would like to battle. Boyfriend child's deep down. Okay, lonely child. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Okay, so we're going to be battling people, and, well, it's actually a pretty good thing that we're battling so many people right now, because, well, you know, it actually helped us out, especially evolving some Pokemon, and there we go, Rosemont grows to level 28, and it, and it is learning Toxic Spikes, so what I'm going to do right here, I'm actually going to take away Stun Spore for right now, because Toxic Spikes can be useful when it comes to switching out, like, Poisoning Pokemon while they're switching out. Now, let's see. If we're going to be doing double battles right here, let's go ahead and give the Gaia a little bit of help and give Toothless a little bit of help. Okay, so we got eight levels before it evolves into a Gardevoir. A Gardevoir and uh, we're trying to prevent that because we are very, very close to a place where that will not happen. And well, let's see. Let's go with a Stealth Rock right here. And this one will actually help us out. So let's go right ahead and go with Confusion and Dragon Rage onto Chingling. And that, that nearly worked. Okay, so let's go with again. And Dragon Rage. And there we go. That's one. That's two. And because of the Stealth Rock, take a look at this. One, two. Both Pokemon get hurt as they get switched over. And what's going to happen now is, well... Actually, we shouldn't do that. Confusion onto Baneri and get some, uh, well, let's get the Hyper Potion onto good old buddy Toothless. And there's a quick attack right there. So now we gotta switch out our Gaia number two. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Togetic. And let's go right ahead and go with a Dragon Rage to Bronzor because that right there is gonna be pretty bad. So let's go right ahead, Fire Blast. And slash attack to Baneri. Just like that, we do we do our thing, and look at this. We win. Okay, so double battles like nobody's business. This is a very good place to do the double battle, so let's see. Completely forgot about this place. Again, like I said, I've, it's been a while since I played this game, so that, that ought to be fun. So let's see. Right here, Toothless. And Electrostar. So let's go right ahead and see who is next, and... Yes, yeah, so we're going to be battling, and they got one Pokemon each, so this one right here will be easy. Going on to this guy, and then hit a Slash to Cricketune, because it's not really that great of a Pokemon. And so far, we're not doing we're not doing so hot right here. Holy crud, how is Cricketune not falling asleep or going yeah, fainting or something? Okay, so let's go with a Confusion. Probably not the most effective one, so there we go. And just like that, we win. Okay, so... Let's, uh, okay, so they're just, yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not really liking the, the whole thing, so let's go right ahead and battle these guys. It's going to be a two-on-one, and as you guys can see, one has a Quagsire and the other one has a Pichu, so let's go right ahead and do that. I probably should have used, uh, yeah, I probably should have used, uh, what was it called, uh, probably should have used Dragon Rage instead of just a two-turn thing, and, well, that right there, let's go with one more Magical Leaf. And a Dragon Rage onto Pachirisu. And wow. Okay, so that was... <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so you learn you learn something every single day. So let's go with a Magical Leaf onto Pachirisu and a Dragon Rage. And wow. Okay, so we got to switch out our Pokemon. This is ridiculous. Okay, so let's go with Poseidon right here. Poseidon will kick some butt and go with Bubble Beam. And there we go. Just like that. And we win. Meredith. Seriously. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go right ahead and revive our Pokemon. As you guys can see, yes, we're doing everything we can. Let's go right back up here. Super Potion. 
Not that. Let's go to this guy, and then let's go ahead and use some potions onto this guy right here. And we got one more trainer, and of course these are the... Well, we're taking on a yeah camera guy and some other person right here. Now, we gotta switch out our Pokemon right here because it's not gonna work, and well, let's go right ahead and use a slash attack onto this guy. And a Sonic Boom is gonna automatically hit us right here, so let's go with that, and let's go with that. And, wow. Wow, okay, so we're getting our butts kicked, okay. Let's go with uh, that right here, and there we go, and there we go, okay, so do the same thing. Yeah, we're gonna be battling, guys, and there is no Pokemon Center in this area, so just keep an eye out for that. And here comes a Mr. Mime. Let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go with Togepri. And let's go with a Dig Attack, prevent any kind of hits. And Togepri, let's go with a Grass Knot onto this guy. And there we go. We have defeated everybody right here. Daryl and Valerie. And I don't think any of these guys would want to battle us or, or say anything to us. So, as you guys can see, this is a place where you can actually double battle. It's a very good place. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, let's see. Paralysis, you gotta love me. Paralysis loves me, guys. So, let's see. We got Moo Moo Milks. So, Poseidon. Let's take some of that. And let's give Toothless a little bit of that. And, well, let us continue on right here. You will be able to find yourself an item here and there. So, let's see. We are in another route. So, here we found ourselves a PP up. And, well, let's see. Talk to this guy. I'd rather be in the pool in the same salt tang of the sea. Tastes like tears of after a hard day at work. You sure about that? So let's go ahead and sm like let's go ahead and go to the dowsing machine and see where we can actually find some items because there are a lot of hidden items around here, guys. And let's see. There we go. It's right up here somewhere. So let's see. It should be right here. Let me see. Right here, I think. Wow. Okay. Oh, there we go. We found ourselves a max revive. So that also helps us. Now we're in the Valor Lake front, and if we go right here, we're gonna be talking to this guy. He's just looking out the window. He's like, hi, I'm the gaming director. Oh, you're working on po filling up the Pokedex. I hope you'll find and show me your Pokedex when you're filled up more. Okay, so it looks like to me, this is the guy to go to once the Pokedex has been filled, and well, let's see. We're in Route 213, and if I'm not mistaken... There might be an item here somewhere. Let's see. Huh. Hold the phone. It's right there. Okay, so... Right here? Nope. And... Uh, never mind. I think that was Siri talking to me. Downstairs. Right here. There we go. We found ourselves the sweet key. So, that right there covers that. Now, as you guys can see, there are certain spots right here where you can actually rock climb. We won't be doing that till later on. And this guy right here is like, is that right? You're a traveler? Yes, it's good to see other places. Have you heard of the Tin Tower in the Johto region? The rainbow-colored Pokemon. I must see the dur during my lifetime. Well, I kind of already saw that Pokemon, captured it, you know, and, uh, yeah. Anywho, let's go back here to the Valor Lake front, and we're going to be talking to this lady again. And, well, she's going to notice that we get found her the sweet key. And just like that, we don't get a reward for that. You see, that's what nice people do. And, well, let's see. Thanks for helping me out. Here's something for your trouble. And she will be giving us the white flu, which, uh, as many of you guys already know, I think it heals confusion or something like that. So, anywho, that is that right here in the Valor Lake front. And all we need to do now is go right down to Route 213 because fate awaits us. Ah, hello. You wish to stay the night? Ah, you have no reservations. I'm afraid you're totally booked, but you may rest a while if you wish. And just like that, we are healed up and ready to go. So that is the place to go to if you want to heal. And this, ho this hotel is so romantic. I hope that a night uh, on a Pokemon will sweep me away in the honeymoon here. Okay. Yeah, you're dreaming a little too much. Even though it's never too bad to dream. And, well, here we found ourselves a yellow shard. And, well... Now we're going to be going into the beachfront, and we're going to be battling a bunch of youngsters right here. So, let's go right ahead and go to Rosemon, and start battling. 
let's go right ahead and uh, speed this up. So as you guys can see, Rosemon going up against a bunch of water type Pokemon. And it might hit level 30 right, right there and then. So let's go right ahead and do that. And as you guys can see, we're taking on a regional Shellos right here. And I believe down south, you'll be able to find the blue and green version, while up north, you'll be able to find the pink and white version. And, well, look at that. Rosemon grows to level 30. And just like that, we have defeated little Tuber Kid right here. So that is that. And, well, let's see. Item take away. There is one person that we kind of want to gain its levels to, or get, get its levels to level 30. Hold on just a sec. What did I do? Okay, where did I... Okay, oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. Huh. It's not in that in that area. It's right here. So let's go right down here and give this to Poseidon because we want to evolve them too. And, well, there is spots... There are spots where you can actually... Yeah, there are spots where you need Rock Smash for it. You talk to this guy. There are fan There's a fancy hotel in a fancy place with fancy restaurant. The fancy restaurant's filled with fancy people who think of themselves of, as being too fancy to battle alone. Wow. So I, I, I'm going to guess that he doesn't like a lot of fancy people. All right, let's go right ahead and start battling. All right, here we go. Giga Drain for the win. And here comes a Remoraid. So let's go right ahead and go with uh, this guy right here, Confusion. Now you're confused. Magical Leaf. And there we go. And wow, we're taking on a Gyarados right here. Now this is a good person to actually uh, rematch every single time because yeah, he will have his Gyarados. So let's go with a Shockwave, quad damage for the win. And just like that, we are victorious. Now, let's see, if you talk to this, Dr. Footsteps, reveal all. This guy will actually tell you where you caught your Pokemon and which place. And well, it looks like to me, there is a honey tree right here, nothing too important. But if you guys want to, like, you know, find yourself some rare Pokemon, yeah, this is uh, the place to go. And here we go end up against a Glammeow, so let's go with the Magical Leaves. And just like that, we win again. Alrighty. And, well, there is an item right here. We will be coming back for that a little bit later on. And if you talk to this guy, there's something up top in this cl big cliff here. My instincts tell me that, but, but how am I supposed to climb up? Well, it won't be until way, way later on until you can actually get there. And, well, let's go right ahead and grab these berries. As you guys can see, we're going to be getting Iapa berries, Ross berries, and Agua berries. So, let's go right ahead and grab that. Yes. And what are we doing with these berries? Not a lot. I'll tell you that right now. And, well, let's see. There might be an item right here somewhere. Could be mistaken. Nope, getting attacked by a Pokemon. Here we have a regional Shellos and... Yeah, no poke, no item right here. But it wouldn't be it wouldn't be too bad to have a regional shellos right here. So here we are crossing the gate. And well, let's see. I wonder if people can give us something. And uh, let's see. Listen, do you know about the Battle Frontier? Yes, I do. And yes, the Battle Frontier, as many of you guys already know, it is the bane of everybody's existence. It really tests you as a Pokemon trainer. Now, here we are in Pastoria City. This is the home of the next gym, and well, there is a... Well, eventually you'll be able to find a Toxic Croak right here some at some point. Now, there is a specific spot right here in Pastoria City that I would like to go to because it's holding something very, very, very personal of mine. If you go down here next to Route 212, near the marshland areas, as you guys can see, we're going to be struggling around here. If you go down here and point towards this direction. You'll find yourself a Dawnstone, and if you guys don't know, the Dawnstone is what is needed to evolve our Curlia, our male Curlia into Glade. Now, let's see. I want to be very strategic about this because, yeah, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to screw things up. So, we're going to stop right here in this episode. In the next one, we're going to be taking a visit of Pastoria City and battling everybody we see, including the gym leader himself. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. See you guys.